because he's practicing now with the team. He just yeah. he had a screw put in his wrist, Jeez. so he needed. I don't even really. I didn't hear what happened. They he thinks that when he was bailing on the farm is when he heard it when he was picking up bales, oh, okay. helping his dad. Oh, and he'd heard it before, yep. and then he played a little bit on it. Yeah, he played on it. Okay. I think he was going to practices whenever he could, and that's kind of just. Oh. What he did. Um, he Teddy Redinger, oh, I believe, Teddy. I was came in from behind from that. Okay, I think we're working an now. So, if you can hear us now, thanks for joining us. This is Amy Stone with RTC TV4. And we've got the Argus Dragons and the Oak Hill Golden Eagles today. Um, we're about 28 minutes. We had we're about some 12 minutes into this first half. Some technical difficulties. Some technical difficulties. But now so. you can hear us. Even though you didn't know it, we've been chatting this whole time about <laughs> the games. Oh! All right. <laughs> Got a goal by Oak Hill. I'm, I want to say it was number 13. Let's see here. Goal by Oak Hill, number 13, yep. Gavin Holtz. Number 13, Gavin Holtz. It looked like a little miscommunication from the defense and our goalie. As we were saying earlier, um, our goalie is Kurt Johnson. He had to a sophomore. Step, yep, he had to step up this year. Um, our goalie from last year, uh, Colton Markley, who's been actually, I think he was goalie two years as freshman and yep. sophomore year maybe. Yep. He has a broken wrist and is unable to play right now. Um, so Col Kurt stepped up and, and has – that's a, Stepped that's into a, those shoes, that's yeah. That's a tough job. I mean, even coming in as, you know, stepping up as anything on the floor, you know, here on the field is hard. But as a goalie, that's yeah. that's a lot of pressure. Yeah, it's yep. Yeah. And I always say, if as a goalie, there's ten other players the ball went through to get to you. So. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Own that. Um, but oh, Colton nice Markley one. hopefully will be released to play on the field. Said in a couple of weeks he should be With able some to. some bubbles. Oh. oh. That was a good header out by Sam Manikowski. Yeah, it was going to be offsides if not. Yep. Gabe really Stone with a good line. clear. Yes, they watched their line very well at Warsaw. Yeah. Until the second half, I think they kind of got really tired, which, I mean, Warsaw for a first, for an opening, is that's a big game. And Yeah, Warsaw is a uh, 3A school in soccer, and we're 1A. So. We're the smallest size. But that's what you like to see. And I like how I said earlier, um, you see how Pablo, which is number 11. Our foreign exchange student from Spain. Yes. When he goes up, um, our whole team follows and goes up. And I think that's just something. Got dangerous play out there. That's something that's very good. Because if not, you're breaking up the field. And it's just. We'll have Cameron Markley taking the kick. And it's a gorgeous day out here. It's breezy, no humidity, not If I had hot. a hammock, I'd be taking a nap. <laughs> Maybe not during the game, but nope. I Owen, you will not get that call. Owen, Owen was holding up his hands. He, the guy did have his jersey, um, but the You're not gonna get line, the, the center looked at the linesman, and he, no flag, that's no call. So I am Amy Stone. I got Samantha Stone with me here today. Andy Stone is actually coaching his first Ancilla girls game at Ancilla today. So he will join us later, I believe, eventually for the um, varsity girls game who play Northwestern here at 4 o'clock this afternoon. And you'll be able to listen to that on RTC TV 4. Um, Oak Hill foul on number 13. RTC TV 4 has changed um, where you can view these games. They used to be on YouTube. We now have an Argus TV channel. There's also an app that you can get through the Apple App Store or Google P Google Play. How do you say that? That's yeah, Android. Your, your, your Android and Play. Your App Store for your whatever app store. phone yeah. you have. Which is funny because that's actually the one I have, but I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh. That's a good. That's a good goal. And but that from was Sam, Sam Manikowski. Manikowski. Number three, Sam Manikowski. His little brother had a goal Are during their JV game. Three, I like seeing our defender. He's really, Coming that was up. one of his goals this year was to score. And I do believe, did he put one in at Warsaw? No, no I, don't, I don't think he did. He did during the Jamboree. He did yeah. during the Jamboree. That was a great. No, okay, sorry. I don't know why I couldn't figure that out. <laughs> Phil asked me if I wanted to drink, oh. and I don't play charades very well. <laughs> Sounds like. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> oh. I tell you, I take a day. Every day could be just like today. I don't even know what the temperature is. Hopefully, no one, no one will be getting heat stroke today. 
We got 72 degrees, sun, no rain. Windy and just gorgeous. Yep. I like the humidity not being here. Hum the humidity can change any type of day. Oh, yeah, these get, oh, those boys can it really, Camera really can take it out of them more than you know. Oh, yeah. Looks like our front group has really been working well together. Yes. I liked I liked what he was doing, but um, I don't think Mikey Richards and Cameron Markley are on the same <laughs> mindset right there because yeah. Mikey started to go and kind of stutter stepped and Phil brought up you'll a good have that though. Phil just brought up a good point. We discussed it during the JV game um, last year. I think was the first year they changed the black jerseys are the home team on your screen. Those are the Argus Dragons. Maybe that was two years ago, and the white jerseys are. Oak the Hill. Oak Hill Golden Eagles. Yep. Oh, and Nifon getting ahead on it. Goalie punches it out. Oof. And a big Great clear. Great work by the defense, yeah. Gabe, Gabe Stone, Stone with a header. Throwing it back Over in. Sam, Sam Manikowski. Manikowski back in. Settled by Markley. Oh, I don't mind that. <laughs> See, I don't mind that either. He you know, was you wide got open the in the center. You got the foot to put that in there. You never know what's going to happen. Sadly, Chino, his own teammate, was in the way. But, you know, you get that sometimes. Unfortunate. Unlucky. Gabe Stone with a nice fake. Gabe takes it. Mikey Richards falls back. Let's see if Chino can get past this guy to send it in the center. Oh, smart. Very Use smart. Use your people. We got Owen in the center. <laughs> I think Gabe rolled. I, th I, I think, think he hopped he back up, though. <laughs> He's very quick on popping up. Devin Allen with the throw in to Gabe. Oh, a little nutmeg. Yep. Oh, nice, Devin. That was Devin's a good got great fake. Foot skills, yeah. That was a great fake. He acted like he was going to shoot it. Kept going. Pablo. It's fun seeing the foreign exchange students come in. It, it's very, it's awesome. Miss hit. Oh, great sell right there. That's a, yep. Way to step two. Chino <coughs> Rope stepped to that ball. That was great. That's a good through ball. Just a little, little hard. Oh, that was yeah. just a little hard. He had him beat. Pablo had him beat, so it's going to be a long. Their forwards Ooh. are very fast. Number oh. 13 is very fast, so oh, I'm feeling it's going to be yeah. a, a long ball if possible. Great commitment there by um, Johnson. Come out and you get that ball. Yeah, That's a good move coming out to the side for Cameron <laughs> Markley. Nice little nutmeg, too. Yeah. Owens right there on top of it as always. That's a good layoff by I Devin told you Allen. Devin's, Devin's got some skills. He he's he not works only at such a they all you know do. good ball. He's great ball touches, but he thinks one step ahead, mm -hmm. which is very important. He's a smart kid. We got JJ Riddle coming into the game, and Devin Allen's actually going to take a break. Give him a rest. Throw in by Nifong. Kind of just kind of went through everyone's legs yeah. there. I mean, keeper ends up yeah. getting nut. That's a nice. That was a, a nice, nice punt. punt. I would not want to head ball. <laughs> Sam just goes and he, that would hurt my head. I don't know. That's a good clear by Sam. Pablo was offside. As so Tony Dean used to say, we're gonna have to put some bubble wrap on him. Shout out to, uh, we've got Peyton Heckman on the camera. I don't know if we mentioned that in our, during our technical difficulties, but since we're on now, we'll talk about that. We've got Phil Dean running the show today for us. I would have pressured a little harder mm -hmm. just because we now, knew he couldn't pick it up. I don't think JJ played last year. He did not, if I'm correct. So come. He did? Did he? Mm -hmm. I didn't remember him playing last year. Me neither. Hmm. Well, I was also gone, so. Yeah. That's we're, a great settle by Owen Nifong. See, I missed this game last year because you were playing. Nice game. There you go. That's all right. Oh, he says corner. Somebody touched it. Hmm. Didn't see it, but I'm good with that. We have player down corner. or fixing our socks? I think we're fixing socks. I don't think... Uh, Oh, nope, number 11, if I'm correct. Yeah. Him and Owen, <coughs> when Owen went for that ball, they kind of collided, so I don't know if. Yeah, um, we won't s we're not going to see all of the uh, 
I don't think the cramps that we've had at Warsaw. Yeah, even at our junior high game last mm -hmm. night. Um, we had quite a few cramping up, you know, getting the kids to drink water when it's so humid. It helps today that it's it's 72 it's degrees. Nice. So yeah, there's <laughs> yeah. no there's no humidity or nothing like it has been at least. Yeah. Jeez, Kate's got. Oh, Gino's there. He he remembered the last one. <laughs> that was that was smart letting that ball roll out so your team could come over and yeah. Sometimes you don't want to do that because then you let their defense get but back in, that, in, but in that instance in that it worked play, out perfect yeah. because the keeper got it and he can Oh, and he's going to roll it out. Let's see, RTC TV4 this year. We'll be bringing you soccer, basketball, on Argus TV, on Argus TV which you'll be able to watch oh. live. Or you can go to the Argus TV station channel and watch everything. There, whatever's been recorded recently in Argus is going to play around the clock now. You can't go on there and say, I want to watch this Argus game right at this time. If you want to do that, they do have a su subscription price. I think I saw four ninety nine a month or um, fifty dollars a year, forty nine ninety nine a year, and then you can see whatever little game your heart desires. But we will be carrying soccer, basketball, boys and girls basketball, boys and girls soccer. We've got volleyball games. Uh, we've got one Monday. Phil says, base. Do they do baseball? Are we doing lacrosse? Baseball. Lacrosse. We're going to do lacrosse wow. again this year. It'll be a third year for lacrosse. There's not a lot of small schools in this area that have lacrosse. There's not a lot of schools. I don't. In the area I, I think. Lacrosse. I think up northern Indiana, Indiana, there's not a lot. They've got some in South Bend. I'm sure Penn has. <laughs> Penn probably <laughs> knows definitely. We did play Mishawaka. It was That's more a of a great club header team. from Owen. Um, we went up there. Elkhart had some. big hurl out. I'm liking the hustle back from your defense coming all the way. Yeah. All the way up and sprinting back. They love the game. They're putting their effort in. Oh, Chino gets around him. But can he get through three? Oh. That was in. Goal by Chino Roke. Vargas goal by Chino Roke. Speak up. I need to stay. Okay. Argus goal by Chino Roke. Sorry if you can't hear me. Andy's usually so loud that. <laughs> and if he was here, he'd agree with me. Is that better? We'll find out. Okay, let me know. Shout out to McKenna Burkholder for texting me about our. Oh yeah, I forgot about shout outs. Hey, you yeah. want? Do you want? She said that we were a little quiet. So. All right. Thank you, McKenna. Hope you're having fun at school. Good luck in your season. Exactly. <laughs> yes, if you'd like a shout out, either <coughs> head up me or Samantha. I don't know. Do we have our Twitter still? Not today. Yeah, not today. Don't don't hit that up. Hit up me or Samantha. Or I mean, you can, but you just probably won't. Yeah, <laughs> we won't see it. We may not see it. <laughs> so he hello to everybody. This time of year, you usually don't. Have the, I'm sure the Nifongs aren't in Florida. That's one of our standard basketball. Yes. Hi to the Nifongs in Florida. Always. But. Oh no. It's a little. It's a little off. Or. You know what I mean? Not off. Yeah, and all that I missed. I missed what happened. Yep, we kind of did. We missed what happened. Well, we know a player got hurt, but that's... Yeah. It's all right. Is that just, I can't tell his number from here. Well, we're hoping it's just a cramp. Um, didn't we? Yeah, well. They did not bring another player on uh. to substitute for him. They were busy walking them off. And yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. One, two, three. Okay. I just got a text from Abby Manikowski, who is Sam Manikowski's older sister. She said, that's my brother that scored. 
Ooh, Ab- we love that. Enjoy your time at Purdue Abbey. Hope you have a great year. Sh- hello to you. Oh, Phil's informing me. I totally spaced this. We did see that a little bit at the Jamboree. Something new that we have this year is an instant replay. So we see something awesome out there on the field, a goal, whatever. We we can instant replay that. So we're going to try and find something to instant replay because that sounds like fun. <laughs> and I want to see it. We want to go back, though, to that game, don't we? The previous yes. game. There was one in the JV game that yes. we wanted to see again. And There was a goal that I was moving and missed, and I – Yelled, where's Uh-oh. the instant replay? Oh, oh he's down to uh, – nope, he's up. Okay. Sometimes you just get up a little slower, take a little walk. You always fell slow, so I'm not – I don't want to hear it, and <laughs> I never got hurt from it. If you, sp- I f- you know, if you fall fast, you're going to break something. You fall slow, get up. I fall slow, too, so I can't say anything. Oh, that was a good cross good ball back. back to, oh, nice save by the keeper. Shot on goal. I think that was Samuel Boyer is the keeper. Mm. Great save. Oh, we're throwing it out. I like the hustle out of Markley. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like how they're bringing the ball back and moving, but we're up pretty high, so this is when I would kind of yeah, get rid of it because our offense is on their defense pretty high. So, oh, well, the ball's out. Uh, Dragons will be in play again on uh, Tuesday night against Elkhart Christian Academy, and that is at Elkhart Christian this year. And then Friday night, the 30th, home against Faith Christian, both the JV and varsity game. Tuesday night's game is uh, varsity only. I haven't looked at the schedule, but I'm kind of thinking that the girls also play. That's usually how they do that. Um, And for Oak Hill, number six, Weston Sable. And number 12, Mark Sevier. And for the Dragons. Number five, Will Mills. Will Mills Number and nine, Caleb Ellis. Will Mills and Caleb Ellis in the game for the Dragons. And what? Samantha, did you see who got a break? Uh, Cameron Markley Cam- is not on the field. Cameron Markley and who else was in there? Pablo. Mm. Pablo. I'm gonna guess because I'm looking for red shoes. Pablo. Thanks, Isaac. Uh, also, boys soccer. Your former soccer player. Alumni night is the same night as the Faith Christian game, August 30th. JV plays at 5.30, uh, followed by the alumni recognition at about 6.30, right before that varsity game. So if you want to see this year's Dragons in action, August 30th. Come recognize. We're going to have special recognition to alumni from 1969, 79, 89, 99, and 2009 to honor um, our 2019 season. Come early to reminisce, relive, and revel in the memories. Yeah, revel well. in the memories, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I can't read today. For someone I who had reads read as I much as you do. I know, and I had a really long week. That was a good Bless play the children. by Michael Richards. Yeah, Mikey gives. If I was him, I wouldn't have passed that ball away. I think he should have taken it um, 1v1 and then waited. I'm kind of actually, my thoughts on that are Mikey's left footed. He's that on the right side, and I don't think he wanted to take it to his right foot. That's something you have to break if, yep. you know. Maybe that's why he's got him over there on the right side. Could be. I could be wrong on that. So if I am, I apologize. But that was my thought on it. Got to break that, though. Being a player that you can use both your feet is really, mm-hmm. really something. <coughs> he can. I'm thinking oh. that just wasn't his first thought there. Mm-hmm. He's only a sophomore, though. He's got years to learn. Yeah. we got about 14 and a half minutes left. Played to the keeper. Oh, he has a headband on. Okay, I have to tell you, I first thought first half he had a braid. And I'm not going to lie to you. I think those headbands are illegal because they we got. They always tell the girls they can't wear them, don't they? Yes, because of the knot and the tie in them and how it hangs like if his you is. you hit your head. Yep. So. See, and I always didn't like them either because I think someone could grab yep, them with that's your exactly head. Yep, <laughs> that's exactly what has happened. Yeah. I, you know what? The refs probably don't look for them in nope. boys games. And that, I mean, it doesn't bother. It's not a big deal. No. Oh, that That's a great, great ball. Through ball. Oh no! And great through ball. But offsides there. Yeah. Offsides from Chino. Chipped a little bit too. Okay. Okay, balls it. Oh, 
All right, Chino's on the ball. Oh, nice Chino hustle out of the defense. That's oh. obstruction. He pushed away from the body. Didn't even have the ball at his feet. Yep. I understand what he's doing, though. I, yep, I, I mean, do. You play, you play mm -hmm. with your heart when you're out there, and you just you don't stop and think about that those things. That was up your, higher. your thought is, I'm stopping that ball. Yep. And it makes sense. I mean, you just got to have that ball at your feet, or it's not going to work. Okay, we've got left footer Gabe Stone <coughs> coming up to take that. Okay. Yep, the he RJ, asked for 10. RJV1. Why can't I remember now? I want to say 3-1. to 4-1. to one. They, We scored at the end. You're right, we did. Yep. I like I like to see what Gabe was doing there. He little easy pass to Chino, but four one, yep. <laughs> Sam Manikowski's brother, Nate, who's on the J V is a freshman this year. He's also number three. He also had a goal today, so Blake Sellers, AJ Mills, and Wyatt Tanner. Awesome. I like to see the hustle out of Caleb Ellis. A little cutback. Very, very smart. Over to Will Mills. Let's see if you can get this cross off. Mm. Oof, Carson McCrean was so fast. Oh, smart. He needs to recover from that and get back on the ball a little quicker. Carson needs to be careful going out that angle because if he would have tripped him, it would have been a foul. Yeah. Coming from behind. Broken up there by the Dragons. Johnson with the ball. That's a, that's a nice punt. Just snowing up there in that particular spot at the moment. Yeah. Which stinks a little bit. Number 12's got some nice foot stills just mm -hmm. going right around. That's a good look by Owen Nifong. From Mills up to Ellis. Chino's got a... That was oh. very smart around the outside. Chino's Right hustling. in the center. And J J Riddle was up on that ball. Mm -hmm. I like to see that hustle. I would I would like to see him already kind of there. Yeah. As you saw the ball come across that center, he was sprinting to get up in there because that's where he should have been. Learning process, all of it, all of it yep. is. So, got some senior leadership out there and Roke, Riddle, Knife on. See who else? Manikowski, Mills, Ellis. Yeah. Good class. So Chino Roke is now out, and Pablo, number 11, and came number three, in. Ian Pablo Mata? 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 We're, We're probably here. chopping it up. Yeah, sorry, Pablo. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how to say sorry. Nope. And what? Come on, you Where, took like two years of Spanish, didn't you? <laughs> oh. Um, Mr. Levi, if you're out there watching. <laughs> it's okay. It's also been like two and a half years that I haven't done Spanish, and I took a French class, so. Oui. <laughs> Parlez-vous français? Yeah, no. Uh-oh. That'd be an Argus foul on Argus. Mikey Richards. Nice little easy pass. Oh. I don't know if I would have done that because we're pushed up kind of high. I would have taken my chances with a longer ball mm -hmm. yeah maybe maybe Read switch the field maybe switch the better. sides because there's three closer to the left hand side sure. again you never know someone our team could have missed hit it and it went right through so it's great about soccer there's 11 people on the field nice hustle out of jj <laughs> <laughs> again we were talking about this earlier but i don't think our mic was we were working, working yeah but Ooh, that was a little. Won't well, play on. Uh, Owen Nifong just is a when tank. He gets that ball. Yeah, yeah. he's he's going and ooh, a little high. Well, I see what he was doing. It. It's still in. Actually, <laughs> the ball is still wow. in. Maybe the well, wind. Mil maybe the wind is stronger. The wind is coming from uh, the north to the south. Will Mills is on that ball. Anyway, we were saying how if Owen wants it, Owen Owen gets yeah. it. He's he's one of those players that intimidating, very intimidating. I was wondering if he was going to call that. Which foul? Okay. Um, Carson McCramer, and I couldn't tell you what number because I oh he was on the ground, but they okay. kind of went at it. and. Oh, I really was watching, yeah. It was kind of a later call, but he, 
you know, got to see who has possession and we're going to get some distance there. Mm -hmm. Gabe just needs to curl that around and put it in. Come on. Yeah, he needs to shoot <laughs> this one. The last one didn't work out very well. He won't. Oh, yeah, oh. he did. Oh, that's hey, all right. that's a that's a good shot. Oh, I can't believe Gabe's a junior. He's he's old now, I guess. I know. <coughs> oh, play on. Let's see if Sam can come over and. Sometimes as a defender, just being right there by them, you just make as them nervous. You, yep. yep, and you break as you up just their. Saw. He just stood there and kind of, you know, like slowly moved forward, but it's better you know, than him running right at it. If they're running down burnt. the line and you're on their inside, just keep running. <laughs> and hopefully you can, if they stop and stutter, you can stop and stutter with them. But hmm. You don't know how to play defense, though, do you? I, I couldn't tell you if I play defense <laughs> or not. <laughs> Never. Oh, I want to give a shout out to Pablo's dad. He is actually watching our game live from Spain. That's awesome. Hello, Pablo's dad. If we're butchering your name, we're sorry. He's doing a great job. It's so much fun to have these foreign exchange students come in. What a good experience yeah. for him. Um, on the JV team, we have German Ben. Obviously, he's <laughs> from Germany. <laughs> they, like to, they like to call him German Ben. Yep, and that's why I have to call him German Ben. My sons, on the, sons are on the JV team, and they call him German Ben. So, so hi, Pablo's dad. It's great, too. RTC TV 4 brings you these games. It's great for great for parents if, and grandparents in the wintertime that go to Florida. We're able to bring you these games, and you can see your – still go to Florida and see your grandkids play. Or, as we just said, a foreign exchange student, and you're watching all the way from Spain. That's awesome. And that's you can awesome. see your kid, yeah. Yeah. It helps to, you know, you, you miss your kids when they're gone, and especially oh, yeah. when they're in a different country, you know. that's I, I can't imagine being the, – uh, the, mm, those kids are so smart, you know. We don't have as – That was a very <laughs> dangerous – We don't have as many bilingual students here, but these kids mm -mm. are really smart, and they, they know their English and come in, and, and, and Pablo's doing great. Yeah. Graduating from Argus, we had foreign exchange students all throughout – Mm -hmm. You know, we did too, and it was just a great experience, also for us, because we got to see their cultures. That's awesome. Okay, there's about five minutes left in this half. You're watching Argus TV on RTC TV Four. I'm Amy Stone. We got Samantha Stone. Dragons Hello. are up two one. That's a good step by Will Mills. Oh, I almost, I almost thought it hit his hand. You know, I thought that for a second, but, but maybe I'm, we're not. There. You know, the ball's not even close anymore. It's, it's yeah, it's gone. <laughs> just a little, <laughs> just a little. I, you know. Oh, he's getting warned. He's like, oh. It, I don't think it helps that he also got, he also kicked the ball after that. You know, does yeah. not makes refs happy at all when you're oh. get fouled on and then. I honestly. I kind of wondered if he was going to – he put his whistle up to his mouth there on J.J. J.J. Well, the kid had a hold of his arm, so. Great tackle. That's a good ball. <sighs> Again, I mm, – pretty close to the – Chino, come on. <laughs> I felt like that was a little weak. I I thought he took a little dive. I But – Hey, if it was me and you're in the box and you have two no, people he's on gonna you, do that. he's going to do that. He's smart. He understands that stuff. There's going to be refs out there that will call it, so take your chance. We got a throw in. And Markley, Markley's back in the game. Chino was back in the game. I guess we missed one. That was a good turn. Kind of led the defender on like he was going to kick it to Caleb Ellis and just took a cut. I <laughs> how do you think they're doing – Positioning on the field. Uh, oh, forward, no. forward is great. Their mids are up right behind them. You know they're pushing hard. You think hard. they're getting back though? I feel like we but need a little bit. That's of what I was just gonna. When we when that ball transitions to our defense, we are a little slower on getting back, which is because they've played a whole half of going up as hard as they can. So you're yeah. gonna be a little tired, but in a game you you gotta push through all that. Oh, and knew. I think he knew, knew that that. 
Owen's just got to know that he's he's a little stronger than what he looks, and he's got to be careful. He's well, already gotten warned, so the next thing he's getting is a card, so he needs to play a little bit safe here. See, and I, I could never be a ref because I didn't see anything there. I mean, he ran around the kid, but he, I didn't see him push out or... The little shoulder dip doesn't help. Shoulder dip, okay. I mean... This helps me know what to watch for. He's just... But the thing is, Owen is very strong, so he doesn't have to do much. He doesn't have to dip his shoulder as hard no, as somebody else no, might. No, 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 not at all. Yeah. Not like as Devin Allen oh, would great probably save. have to. Oh, oh, he didn't save it. He is quick. Is that that same night? Yeah. From up here, the numbers on the shirt are just it's way too It's hard to see. It is, I believe it is 19. Yeah, he's, he's, he's quick. He's very, no, he was on this very side. fast. He was on left defender If I'm at the beginning of the yeah, game. Yeah, I thought so too. So that's great that you have these players that can go from defense to right forward, you know, left defender to right forward. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Very versatile. Mm, that's what that's what coaches are looking for. Nice step there by Manikowski. <laughs> mm. well, I was just watching Owen. Oh, and I was waiting for <laughs> Yeah, I was too. <laughs> that's a good that's way to come out for Kurt. That was very smart. smart. Being a goalie, like, it's very intimidating, but when you come out, it's intimidating for the other players, too. You get a little bit more free range for some of the stuff as a goalie. Foul-wise. That's a great drop-off. Nice pass right back oh. to the center. A little Dutch touch there. Yep. A little harder Dutch touch than he <laughs> probably wanted. Sorry. And he did the right thing. He didn't swing his foot. No, he, it was he just a hard through. ball coming through yep. there. Exactly. That's when you get it, the ball to go over the goal is when you swing your foot. He kept it still and let the ball mm -hmm. come to him. It just, just an angle. All right, we got just under a minute. This has been a very exciting game so yeah, far. I mean, it's a great game. There's been a lot of, you know, intensity and inten I feel like it's high, very high for the yeah. Dragons. They're pushing hard and both teams. <coughs> I don't, and I don't see dirty dirty play out of both teams. No. They're oh. boys. And yeah. they're in high school. They're going to have fouls. You're going to you push. Can tell, you can tell the players that I think play dirty or whatever. Okay, we got a quick corner coming here. we got 10 seconds left. Let's see if they can. Oak Hill wants to see if they can capitalize on this. <gasps> yeah, that just was over the top. Dragons are probably going to let that one right out, and we're going to go to halftime. Okay, so we're going to play a couple commercials here. Um, you're going to see the field and have some silence, and then we'll come back. we got about a 10-minute halftime. Um, you're watching Argus TV on RTC TV4. I don't think of this as a high school weight room. It's more like a high school classroom. I'm learning how to manage my time here. I'm learning that it's important to have goals and that it takes persistence and commitment to reach them. And I'm learning that the best way to lead is by example. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> they just heard our whole conversation. Yeah. Yeah. No, we're good. Oh, they put chili on this, which is fine. I'm 44 years old. I graduated from Argus. I know exactly how long they have been. All right, we're back. Going into the second half here with the Argus Dragons and the Oak Hill Golden Eagles. You're on Argus TV on RTC TV4. Amy Stone here and Samantha Stone. Andy is at his Ancilla game today. Teams are taking the field. Argus is up 2-1. Had good hustle out of both teams first half. Argus had goals by Sam Manikowski, assisted by Gabe Stone and Chino Roke with no assist. And Oak Hill's goal was scored by number 15, Gavin Holtz. So. Looks like Argus has the ball on the kick out, kickoff. Looks like a... Sub already. <laughs> no, they're just switching sides. Oh, okay. I was like confused. Which <laughs> I think Michael is left footed. Mm-hmm. Maybe he wants to make him use his right. Or maybe they have some, some idea or some plan. You never know. Could be. Got Peyton Heckman on the camera and Phil Dean's here running the show. Ah. Ah. A little hard. I see what they're doing. <laughs> I think we lost like I don't know how many people out of the press box, but it's really quiet in yeah, here now. Yeah, no, now I can like <laughs> hear us. It was kind of it's kind of weird. Oh, now oh, we can talk louder. We can okay. we can talk about Phil. <laughs> Phil's enjoying his nachos, nacho cheese. <laughs> Did you get chili on yours? They, got, oh. they put chili on my. I didn't ask for it. I think it was a either an oopsie or a I stole someone else's. <laughs> Do you want? Yeah. That's delicious. Go either right way, there's just a little in the hey, center. Hey, if you come to a game, visit but the Shapers at the concession either. stand because. Mm. And if you hear oh, me crunching. Oh, there's homemade cookies today. If you hear me crunching. Oh, um, a little backwards flip kick there by Pablo. Great job. It's chips. <laughs> I will put the mic what, down, though. Just Ask Phil how to mute yourself there. Well, I was just going to put the mic down. Oh, okay. I'm just, I'm just hungry, you know. It's lunchtime. It's one one forty in the afternoon, so. <laughs> Joe Stone, join in the press box. There you go. You can switch with Joe and eat your nachos. Joe will talk to me for a while. No? Okay. You're trying to get rid of me already? No. Wow, that didn't take long. Not at all. Uh -huh. Actually, we can preview Joe's game today. Ah. We can chat with Joe. You want to hand him that? And yeah, go right ahead. Ha-ha, uh -huh. uh -huh, Joe. We got Joe Stone here, head coach of the Argus Girls, Argus Lady Dragons. Uh, got a game today against North, which direction? North Nor Northwestern. Western. Why do I want to say Northeastern? Is that a college? Uh, probably. Okay. <laughs> yeah, North, South, East, Western. Uh, that's going to start at four today. Varsity Girls game, if you're watching and you were coming, um, their JV is going to be just a half, so Varsity Girls will start at four o'clock with a JV half to follow. What do you think, Joe? What what What's going to be the game today, game plan? Game plan is move, move, move the ball, and go to the ball. Okay. So that's the main game plan for today. Yesterday, or excuse me, Thursday, we played against Plymouth. We did that the first half, and the second half, we decided not to do that. And I heard it was a tough loss against <laughs> to Plymouth. You were up 2-0 at the halftime and uh, ended up losing 5-2. Yeah. Oh, Chino <laughs> Roke with a bicycle. Wow. Nice. Tipped his toe and swirled in. We're going to. I don't think of this as a high school weight room. It's more like a high school classroom. There it is. Look at there. Beautiful. Awesome. Um, that was a nice. If you're goal. just joining us, we uh, have a new feature, our instant replay feature. We're going to be using that. That'll be. That's. Great goal by him. Puts the Dragons up by 
three one. I don't know. Did you see an assist, I didn't Joe? See an assist. I, yeah. I was ball watching. I got caught ball watching. <laughs> yep. I don't watch for that stuff. I'm just watching. <laughs> we were discussing the girls. Yeah. First game for the Dra Lady Dragons, too, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Usually, we already have a game in hand, and you know, but they were they were to have played um, Kankakee Valley on Tuesday night, and with the rain that came in, they were afraid Kankakee dri driving so far would. You know, they didn't want to come over an hour to get here. Just didn't know if it was going to keep raining or not. It ended up stopping. It was a beautiful night, but, you know. Oddly enough, I was in Plymouth, which is 10 miles north of here, and it didn't rain at that time. So, <laughs> yeah. weird. It came right through here for some reason. And the, actually, the Lady Dragons will be playing Monday night as well here yes, then against Kankakee Valley beginning at 6 o'clock, I think. Correct. Okay. Yeah, which is, it's varsity only now. I mean, It's varsity only. Okay. Uh, it, it's, a, it's a thing that I've been seeing from around the state that, People are just aren't coming out to play anymore, and it's. it's uh, know, I think it's, we've seen that at the travel level yeah, as well. Yeah, it's it's disheartening. Oh, great come, um, nice slide job, coming Kurt. out there by Kurt. Yeah, that was a good save. But it's disheartening to see that people aren't coming out. You know. Yeah, it's, it's hard to field two teams. I mean, you need is. at least I'd say thirty you know, girls. Well, I well, got twenty nine, and we're feeding filling two. You know, but yeah, a school like Plymouth, and um, you know, who is thousand kids. And, uh, they, you know, they have 31. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so, so how big is um, Northwestern? They're in the top end of the 1A. Okay, side. so they're so 1A. They, they are 1A, but they, they're in the top end. They have, we were there last year, and their facilities are just incredible. I mean, ours are nice. Don't get me wrong. But every single baseball, bas I mean, not basketball, baseball, soccer, everything's turf. Um, we played on a baseball field, as a matter of fact. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry about that, Sam. I did say basketball. Samantha's laughing at Uncle Joe because um, – <laughs> I said yeah, for those of you don't know, don't know, Joe is uh, my brother-in-law, so that's Samantha's uncle. So yeah, so turf basketball, we might have to try that. That might be, be a new. That'd be, that'd be, yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Did it? they try that in basketball? Did they have turf? And <laughs> I don't know. So, but uh, Gabe Stone with a shot there went way off. Keeper, nice save. I like what I see out of Gabe today. Yeah, Gabe, he's playing well. He's stepping up and, and trying a defensive position this year, and that's. Uh, that's, that's new for him. Gabe's yeah. never really been on that. Gabe's always been an offensive midfielder, striker, and now you know Todd with the with the injury of uh, Caden McBrady and yeah, you know some of the other people. So he uh, Todd threw him in there. I mean, Gabe's fast. He's smart. He understands the game well. So and he's yep. doing well. Yeah. He, I had no doubt. I mean, yeah. I kind of figured that would be all right. He with had Gabe. a tough time against Warsaw with them. Those kids are just really good and fast but he, well he handled it well though he did and he's on the left side which puts you uh puts him on warsaw's right side which i mean that's usually a right-footed quick striker is what they're gonna or a midfielder right uh use that left foot oh and we've been discussing owen he, he's kind of a beast i mean <laughs> yeah i'm really surprised ref hasn't given him a card yet I mean, not, not we're waiting on it. Not that he's done anything. No, wrong, no, he's just strong. Yeah, but he's he's given on and off the ball. I mean, he's yeah, just he's a strong player. Probably got three, four fouls on him right now, and usually refs don't. Yeah. Let you get that many fouls before they discipline you. Now Oak Hills player, I think that's on the other side, number nineteen. He's a he's quick too. Yes. They have some nice players. Yeah. What was your take on Argus on the first half? Um, I thought we moved the ball very well. Mm -hmm. Um. Calm. The, the calm, yeah. The mm -hmm. midfields need to get involved more in the play. <laughs> kind of <laughs> discuss the midfield. And um, there were several nice balls down here laid across the middle, and nobody was there. So, yeah. you know, it went all the way through. Well, <laughs> let's. Samantha's telling us she thinks she's a genius. Well, you know, I trained. But she might be. I trained I mean, Samantha, so it's okay. One year. And then she. Mm. It's all it needed, Samantha. That's all you <laughs> needed, one year. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, but. Uh, yeah, you know, but overall, I thought we we played very well the first half. I thought I couldn't really see the first goal that we gave up. I was down here in the other end, so. But as far as uh, our shot selection and what we've done, we've we've played very well. JJ Riddle has really, really played well today. I don't remember him playing last year. Uh, he did. He was on JV mostly. But, oh, that. But uh, you know, you see, he's already out there. He, yeah. He, he's sub first half. Come on. He started second half. And he started second half. So, I mean, Todd's rewarding him. He's playing well. And, and Todd's rewarding him, which is the right thing to do. 
But something like that, almost every single ball Oak Hill's done off a goal kicker that he's been short. We need mm -hmm. to step up there and, you know, take that away from him. Make him kick it long. Yeah, make him kick it long. I don't know why you wouldn't want to. <laughs> a little too much. Out of bounds. <laughs> now in lacrosse, you just go around the back and yeah, <laughs> <laughs> continue around and mm -hmm. keep going and playing. But <laughs> for those of you that have not watched a lacrosse match, oh, come and see it! Come and see it! It is it incredible. is neat. It is incredible. One neat thing to me is when there's a foul, they let the play keep going, and then once the play is over, yeah, then they go right. Once back. advantage is lost, then they go back to that foul. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Samantha's saying she can't believe how much we've improved and how how much they've, how quickly they've learned yeah, in I just mean, a couple of years that we've had it. And we it, won it, two games the very first year, and then we won nine next last year. Yeah, <laughs> so that's a big improvement. But you know, the kids worked on it in the and off it's season. Similar to to uh, soccer, I it mean, is the movement of Gabe recovering there. We got quickness of Gabe and uh, JJ Riddle and good job, Sam. Sam. Oh. Get out there, Kurt. Get out there, Kurt. Oh, well. He's going to let it go. Okay. We were talking, too. It's not as warm and humid today. We're not going to have as many um, cramps. cramps. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I hope not. We had cramps in the junior high girls game, or girls and boys games last night. Yeah, congratulations. Isn't that yeah, nice, junior nice high girls. Shout out to my junior high girls. Yeah, nice. 7-2 win. 7-2 win. Everybody got to play a little. Everybody contributed to that 7-2 win. So Awesome. Can't wait. We, we're uh, down this week. We don't have any games. We're going to work on some things. And um, then we have three games the next week. So, wow, that's a lot in four days. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm with you there, honey. We have seven games in the first two weeks of the oh, season. Oh, <laughs> jeez. So, I'm with you. Now, your invitational is next, next Saturday. Yep, next week, Saturday. Week come from today. See the Lady Dragons. I think your first game is at noon or one. I can't remember. Noon. Noon. 12 o'clock. No, we 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 got Lillemere first. Glenn okay. Glenn's playing Mount Vernon, and okay. then I liked I liked playing them. Yeah. I was so happy that when we played them. That's a big, awesome. it's a big three A school. Yeah. And they're good. So you're you are, Lillemere. Yeah. And, and then Mount Vernon, and oh, nice, nice save by the nice save by the great keeper. job. Oh, and that was Owen. <sighs> yeah, Owen can hit the ball hard. I, I told Samantha earlier, Joe, if Owen came at me, I'd just curl up in the fetal position and kind of suck my thumb maybe Mom, or something. Mommy, I don't know. Mommy. Yeah. No, I understand. Owen's a big kid. No doubt about it. Ah, don't step. Well done. Nice run through by Riddle. Oh, have that. Oh, got us a corner. Oh, let's keeper's gonna get it. And eh, keeper got it. Stay dead. All right, we did another sit Drew so mom could eat. Trying to get her lunch in and <laughs> I like move. I like the hustle I'm seeing out of Chino this year. Yeah. I like that a lot. I wish he'd quit doing that, though. When something doesn't go right, he throws his hands up yep. there. But, you know, just keep doing what you're doing, Chino. You're doing fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice corner kick. Good head ball. Nice stop on the line. Exactly what you're supposed to do. Textbook. That's why you keep those people there. <clears throat> nice. That kid was yelling when Michael Richards and him were going at it, but there was no hands. There were nothing. No. It was 50-50. He just used his body more than you did. Good physical soccer. Mm-hmm.
good slip. <laughs> you know, he'll lose that ball, but, <laughs> but not he always two, somehow yes. gets it back. Two seconds later, he'll have it back again. Good shot by Pablo. He was a open. Wide. A little wide. Yeah. Not bad. It's better him taking it than not taking it. No kills bringing three subs in. Couldn't tell you who they are, though, because I don't have a look. <laughs> I couldn't tell you who they are because I can't see their number. There you go. There. Isaac. There Give us the numbers, the names. Mm. That's an easy call. Easy yep. call. He knew. He got right back. He yeah, knew. Yeah, he didn't even. Nope. Didn't even hesitate. Nope. Sometimes you just you just have that. Well that's done, a good. JJ. That's a good header right up. I'm telling you, I'm impressed right now with Riddle. That's something that, you know. He's a sophomore. He's a, yeah. you know, take command of that, Bob. He'll get there. He'll get there. Oh, he's yeah. Young. He's come out this whole game, you know. It's it's okay to hesitate one, once in a while. You're young. You're, you're learning. But yeah. like Mom and I were saying earlier, he's he's really stepped into some big shoes this year. <laughs> he's had he's had to step in. He yeah. didn't get a choice. The injury he, from Colton Markley, yep. you know, and he's had to, you know, fill those shoes. And he's, he's done quite well with it. I would say after play hit. On Oak Hill. A little frustration there. Yep, just a little. It's towards, you know, getting down to the last 20 clock. minutes, so. Very good. Young man got a yellow card for that. Yeah. <clears throat> See, I don't think he would have gotten a yellow if the ball was still near or right. in play, but since it was an after play hit, that's, if you don't start catching that stuff now towards the last 10 minutes of the game, it's going to be pretty uh, choppy, so. Gabe's got a cannon, man. He's, he's taking those corners, and he's just letting them fly. Uh, I, I'm over there telling him, back it off a little mm -hmm. bit. But. He's, you know, looking at him, you don't think he's strong or fast. You know, he doesn't – he gets out there. He'll keep up with anyone. He'll, he'll push you. He'll do whatever. That's, that's one of the best players that I like because they're sneaky. Good way to – JJ saw that Gabe was coming and called off. That was great. Darn subs. <laughs> Can never get him at a good time. It's good to have Caleb back in there. He did a really good job. He first did half. a very good job. He a nice ball across mm -hmm. the middle. He was going at it. Cameron he Markley shot it over the net, but he, you know, mm -hmm. it was the right thing to do. Perfect, perfect placement. He's another that's coming up, just getting more confident. Yeah. It's it's great to see them when they're freshmen and then moving up on the totem pole and how much confidence they get every year. That's a good throw. <clears throat> nice save by the keeper. Athletic, very athletic save. He's got really nice punts. Either they're really high or he can, he can like he them. just did, he just drove yeah. it perfect right where he wanted it, and that's that's really awesome in a goalie. That was a that was a good ball. It was. And I like how he didn't stop even though it got back to the keep. 
you yeah. never know. Mistakes could happen, and he could have mishit it, and Chino would have been there. And oh, oh, and that just was swipe that great. ball right out of the air. That was awesome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Use that left foot, Owen. I do like how relaxed he is. Like, watching him his freshman year, he was great. And this year, he's just really been calm, relaxed. He took it in. Probably about three or he's four taking, people on him, and he's definitely taken on that leadership role. Oh, as most a definitely. So, which is very nice. Just using his body correctly, Caleb Ellis. Mm. I like to see it. Nice. They've got great movement there. I like how their heads are always up when passing, and that's something in the past. You know, it's hard too to much get dribbling, too much dribbling, too much dribbling. It's hard to get them to do. It is. Job, Teddy. <coughs> Teddy's another one that really had to step up this year. Yes, I agree. Done well, very well at it. Well, Ian left. That's that's your six foot seven <laughs> six center foot. defender. You know, you that's that's some big shoes to fill. Some tall shoes to fill. He, he was a little off. Yeah. Has, <laughs> he was. For sure. <laughs> he was a good three steps. <laughs> when the ball was played, he was well on the yep. other side of the line. Yep. And the ref did the right thing. He waited till he touched the ball, and yep. I think that's why Made a he got a, little, got a little angry. But. Well done, Gabe. Just so smart. Instead of running, let, let me just slide. You know, that's just the thing oh, that – Oh, they called an illegal throw. That's, I think they're second or third. Is it really? Yes. Wow. Because <clears throat> on the first half, we got one all the way down here because he lifted his foot. But by the virtue of the rule book there, that throw was... I didn't watch. JJ's throw was much better. <laughs> <laughs> More of the side of the head than it was behind There it. was someone earlier that did a... Maybe it was him down here that did kind of on the side and... There's a good one. That's be That was better. <laughs> maybe he heard us talking about it. Man, just shoot the ball, boys. Not everything has to be so flamboyant. Just shoot it. That Markley, you, you won't tell him twice. He'll go after it. No, yeah. It's a good shot. I, I like Chino following. Yeah. It would been nice if he would have laid that one across, so mm -hmm. just because of the angle. But it was a nice shot, down low and hard. Mm -hmm. We have Will Mills coming in. And Caden Nightfall. Kate Nightfall. Nice. I like it. Number 19, Gabe Overmeyer. Number 16, Luke Allgood Hartman. So we had Cameron Markley coming out and JJ Riddle coming out for the Dragons. Number 15, Caden Nightfall. Oh. Kate hit himself in the face. Yes, he did. He pressed me at Warsaw, keeping up with those boys. <laughs> you know, he did, a, he did a nice job. Yes. Coming off the bench, helping Todd out like that. He, he did a really good job. Warsaw's just a, a fabulous team. Yeah. I mean, size is just huge compared to us. And yeah. the fact that, we, you know, we can play with them every year. And well, Gabe took one for the team. <laughs> yep. Yes, he did. He didn't look too happy about it. That was a good move by oh, Owen. Oh, way too hard, though. Way too hard. Good idea. Way too hard, buddy. <clears throat> Oats to Lynn. And got a goal kick. Our young cameraman trying to keep up with the play. <laughs> got Phil over here trying to wave him on. Come on, keep moving. You can do it. Play the feet, Gabriel. Scott. Stone. Oh, you got first, my, middle, and last name. <laughs> yeah, that's my boy, so I got to get on him like that. He, he needs it sometimes. But I'll tell you, he, he loves it. That was a great ball by uh, Mills to Chino. Hey, good work, Chino. Got his corner kick out of it. He's done really well this game going down the line corner. and cutting back at a 45-degree angle, passing that in. That's, that's awesome. If we could just get someone there <laughs> to finish for him, yeah. we'll be on, on the dot, man. Mikey Richard taking a break, looks like. You know, I don't know if he's been out yet this half. Number 11, Clayton Macy. And in for the Dragons. 
Number 11, 11, Pablo Mata. Pablo's back in for us. Pablo Juan Mata. Oh, just kidding. His dad is watching from Spain right now. Oh, awesome. I Yeah, we Candy messaged us and told us that she was wa or he was watching us, so. It's a good ball, right? Oh, nice. It was Keaton. Keep fighting, Keaton. Nice. And we got another corner out of it. That was pretty close. Harvey's corner. We'll just let Caden take it, save Gabe around all the way across the field. I think Chino just took a drink out of the goalie's <laughs> Gatorade <laughs> bottle sitting down there. <laughs> well, if yep. They might have tried to beat Chino. He'd do it. He he looked at the goalie, picked it up, took a sip, and just threw it right back down. So that's a good line drive. Just out. Just out. <laughs> Who took that? Caden uh, iPhone. Caden iPhone. I think I might be going blind a little. It's hard to see. See, now look. Chino's staying up there and making the guy kick it out. Mm. Which, he's got a great foot. He yeah. can kick it far. Oh, we get the ball back. I feel like Oak Hill likes to play the ball from the back and move it forward as one. They're instead very of just, physical. Yes. I mean, they're, they f play very fast. I like, oh, yeah. I like that. There it is, Chico. Yeah, turn in half. Mm. Right at him. So he, he gets, his hands up. Yep. He gets very upset with himself. And that, that the only person he's killing is himself doing that. I mean. I agree. Not only, well, he could bring your team down too, you know. He's got to be that leader to step up and say, you know, we're all going to make mistakes. It's going to be okay. Just keep going. But it's hard to do that on the field. I'm one to talk. Yeah. <laughs> I was, it is. It is. I, was, I did the same thing, but, you know, I can see it. So I understand now, but I didn't have to yell at you too much. No, except the time you yelled at me because you thought I was yelling at someone else, but I really wasn't. That was funny. I let you have it that time because I was. What do, what do you consider let me have it? <laughs> well, from 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 coach from coach to player, it wasn't gonna be yeah. crazy. Okay. You pulled me out. <laughs> I did. You still have the authority well, over me. I didn't pull you out. Yeah, you're I'm not a player now. I still whip you, though. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, I like to watch him just turn with it to body off. It's just so the power and strength. Yeah, so strong. Good ball, Gabe, right back That's to a him. great ball. He is just so relaxed this year and just it's great to watch. That was a good try. It was a good try. <laughs> he was there. It's just just out. Devin Allen's coming back in for the Dragons. Number one, Devin Allen. Who's coming out? Come off. Someone's coming off. Oh, Chino. Oh, oh, okay, line. okay. I see, I see. He ran off the end line. <laughs> he said, no. <laughs> I thought, honestly, he might have. He went with the path, path of least resistance. It's been fun to watch Devin this year. Mm -hmm. I know it's only been two games, but last game, he really, it was good. Get out wide, out wide, Carsten. Nice turn. He, 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 I think he read and saw that player coming, but. I, ooh. ooh. That's going to leave <laughs> a mark. That one's going to hurt. <laughs> That's going to leave a mark He tomorrow. hit that one hard. Ooh, Caleb hit that shot. That was a nice left foot <laughs> from Caleb. I like the confidence he has. Plus, okay. if you're open. I got to go down, get ice, get ready. So, Annie Good luck on your over. game today. Thank you. Thank you. Go I Lady we'll Dragons. Oh, I hope so. They're a tough team. <laughs> yeah. So. Who are you playing again? North, Northwestern. Northwestern, that's right. You remember that team. Yes, I do. Team that we give up five yes, goals. Yes, I do. Okay, you can leave now. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> to the same girl. <laughs> <laughs> we all have our moments, Uncle Joe. I know. 
All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you, Joe Stone. You're welcome. We'll be back here on Argus mm. TV, on RTC TV4, for his game, beginning at 4 o'clock. A <coughs> uh, little bit of miscommunication there between Owen Nifong and Sam Yanikowski, but we have recovered and we're down the line again. Oh, keeper coming way out. Good job. He's fast. He, mm -hmm. you know, but I don't know. And a play oh. like this, he, he was kind of getting back. A great job late. by the Dragons, really getting this. Oh. oh, that's a great right off the post from Pablo. That's Goal a great by finish by Devin Allen. Way yeah. to be there. That was smart. By Here's an instant yeah. replay of this uh, shot, right? Is that what we're smart doing? Smart of Argus to get the ball in quickly. As you see, off the post, right in by Devin. Puts the Dragons up, 4-1. Got a couple subs coming in for Oak Hill. And right off, Dragons are still pushing up on the ball. I like how Devin Allen put his hand out telling Will, hey, I got the ball, you know, stay back a little. Good, stay. that's good communication there. That's great. That's what we need. A little drop back to Cars to McCramer. Caden Nifong over to Caleb. A little toe poke up. It was a little hard. He, it was, there was pressure there, I mean. Teddy Redner is going to take the ball up. Caleb has it up to Pablo. You know, I, I like seeing how these boys, if they lose the ball, it's not hands, head down. It's it's let's go get the ball. We want the ball, and that's something. You know, that i got to tell you, that's one difference I see sometimes between. Mm -hmm. Well, and we were talking earlier the difference between girls and boys. That's a big difference between girls and boys. Boys keep after that ball. and. Mm -hmm. Some I don't want to say all girls. I don't want to offend anybody. Oh, no, no. Sometimes, though. You lose that ball, go get it. It's more <laughs> common to not happen with girls. But it's okay. Nothing wrong with that. Two different games. They're two different. It's You're never going to be the same. That's right. You know, this whole game, this keeper has really played it. You know, they like to play it from the back, like I said earlier, up, to, up top and move and connect to passes. But he, we just saw him kick a nice... Nice. Goal kick. Goal kick. <clears throat> I think, you know, in coaching the young, like U10 age, I mean, mm -hmm. that's really what they push is playing it out of the backfield. And that's great until it falls apart and I'm not, you got to be able to read the I'm field. And I'm not saying anything, but it hasn't worked. I would I would change it if it was me. You know, yeah, they've given it up, but it gets stolen. Well, Coach Stone. <laughs> yes, that's me. That's a great corner. That's a oh. great header. Yep. Just a bit wide. We're going to have Gabe Stone taking the goal kick for us. Oh, we got a ball and got a ball an boy ball. on the field. <laughs> it's okay. He's got a nice left right to that corner. That's a that's little tap from yep. Pablo back to Caden and then oh and Oak Hill is just applying the pressure. They're they're and still going. I yeah, love to see that, that. That's great. I love to see how you know they might be losing, but they're still here. They still are wanting. That's to right. Don't give play. up. And that's that's great. Our Argus girls game the other night. I think they had the other team had three goals in nine minutes. So we've got uh, nine minutes and forty five seconds left. That's anything's yeah, possible. Anything is. You play hard until that whistle blows. That's for right. Time to be done. Got a foot race here. Pass it back to Johnson. Back over to Gabe, and we're going to open it up and see what he has. I like how Will got on that line mm -hmm. just for width in case of something happened or that player came. I 
I like to see Gabe come from the whip all the way from the left, go back into the middle to come all the way back out on 24. That's that's some great defense right there. Hey, uh, we want to give a shout out to Jeremy Frick. Um, he is actually one of the host parents for Pablo. He's out in Colorado watching on Argus TV on RTC TV4. Hello. Hello, Jeremy. Thanks for joining. Hope the weather's great out there, you know. I don't know. It probably is. It's California. I feel like everything's nice out there. No, Colorado. Colorado? I thought you said California. If I said California, I'm sorry. Colorado. You know, probably you probably said California or Colorado. Oh, I just probably. wasn't listening. Talk about how old I am and feeble-minded. <laughs> <laughs> or, you know, I have selective hearing with you, Mother. All you moms out there are saying, <laughs> amen. J.J. Riddle back in the game. And Owen and uh, and Caden Nifong back. I didn't even see oh, Caden go out, but so Owen Nifong and um, Gabe, Gabe Stone are taking a break for mm -hmm. us. They've worked very hard this half. I think um, this is the first time they've been out this half. Oh, you know what? And I apologize. Owen was not going out. He just went to the sidelines oh. to get a drink. Oh. You know, the way he was walking, it looked, I like, know. <laughs> he looked like he was off. He was tricking the, yeah. yeah. I agree not I, I agree not taking him off though. He's such a key strong player in that midfield and there's there's some time well, left. You and your career I mean you didn't go out. No. Not you know, unless certain people have that, to. Certain people that just stay on the field cuz they they he, he's a, he's a good player. He's you know, he's Yeah. And they're all doing a great job working together. I'm really impressed with that today. And I like seeing even though Pablo didn't open up to change the direction, I like still seeing JJ following that just, just as an case. option. You know, that's great. It would better Better him do it and not have it than him not do it and Pablo needing him up there. Plus, if the ball gets crossed, he's already in position. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Got to be in the game, not watching the game. You know, and it's hard to get distracted by oh, yeah. watching the game. <laughs> we all know how that goes. I like that little touch from Teddy there going around. A little hard, but. He's a sophomore. Yep. He's got time. If, you know. Broken up there. Oh, and he's quick. Yes, number 13 is, he's very fast. But Sam, he just. Sam is also pretty. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just a little. He's just got little ups and, and he's quick, yeah. yeah. Just a little out and around and we're good. Oh, Kill is now subbing. I'm, I'm thinking they're going to, I think they brought in about four or five and. Four. We'll just say a bunch of players came yep. in from Oak Hill. <laughs> Substitutions by Oak Hill. Yep. You know, we're not Andy Stone here, so we don't we don't remember names and numbers and Hill, number six, Weston Sable. Number sixteen, Luke Hartman. Number Caden with the ball going up Jackson. the side. And number twelve, Mark Senior. There you go, you heard you heard. We're gonna have a corner kick here. Looks like Caden Nifong's taking this kick again. Let's see if he can keep it in the play this time. Last time it was just out, hit the side net. Little it happens. There. It happens. Yep. That's a that's a better ball, especially if you've got tall people like Teddy. Yep. Well, I'm not gonna lie to you. They're all right now. We have our tall team in. Yeah. Right in the center, and we stacked them. Devin, I think, was more on the side. That's a great crossover turn from him. I like his tenacity there. That guy's bigger than him. He's not taking it. He's going to get that not, ball. Yeah, no, he doesn't give up. Ball kind of spun out there. thought it might go out of bounds. You know, I, I thought I thought a lot of these balls would go out of bounds, but it must be wind or just just how they've hit it that they're staying in. Mm -hmm. Got a little English on it. I think it's time to switch the ball or switch fields or make, a, make something happen here. Too bad he was right. offsides. That was a good run by J.J. Riddle. Yep. Just Should have a sub. If I'm correct, our sub coming in will be Shane Stevens, 23. Yes. Let's see what Shane can do. If we can get him in the game, this ball will go out. Sam. 
settle it. Someone's got to settle it. We can't play head ball forever. <laughs> <laughs> could. Well, you say we can't, but that could go on. Yeah, I see you're right. Maybe that's going to be the new game, first person to drop it. I, I like that ball from Carson. It was a little uh, Oof. close there. It was, it, was pretty, it was pretty lucky, I want to say, because there is their whole back line, but – Mm -hmm. That's that's what I love about this game is anything could happen at any Great time. Great ball from Will up to Pablo. Pablo hit it to Devin. Devin hit it right back for a give and go. Shot on goal, Shot on goal Pablo by Pablo. Mata. Pablo Mata. This goalie's been this goalie has been a great goalie. He's mm -hmm. been all over. He he can jump. He can kick. You know. Oh, we got some substitutions. Shane Stevens coming in. He's coming in for Pablo, number 11. Let's see what Shane can do. I call him the Shane train in soccer. Well, we, <laughs> hopefully we won't see why. <laughs> well, I usually say if you get the Shane train going, he's not going to stop. Don't stand in front of him. <laughs> At the Warsaw game, he was uh, making a run, and the ball was not with him in the kid that he hit went down. Did, he, did he get up? Yes. Okay, good. So oh, it took him a second, but... You know, I said an object in motion stays in motion. And yeah. Shane is, Shane a, is a train. And you know what? Shane plays lacrosse, and he's a great oh, defender. He's he fun is, to watch in lacrosse. He is a great defender in lacrosse. It's amazing to just see the difference in two different games, but it's truly the same. If You know, you're yeah. a little bit different in lacrosse. Your defenders can't cross the center line. Your um, strikers or your forwards can't come back. The mm -hmm. midfielders can run both. little joking going on in here. They, somebody said they think Shane would be the best football player of all time. We just don't have football. Yeah. I've actually had that discussion with someone. We need to get football. And I said, I'm sorry, who do you think is going to play it? <laughs> we don't have enough kids. We, we don't have the Shane, kids. Well, he said Shane will be the whole team. <laughs> I'd like to. You know what? Shane's a good kid. He's Shane's got a great a smile. Great and person. He's a got a big person. heart and, yeah, yeah, great family. I'm not sure he could be a whole football. I don't, yeah, I don't know how that would work. But, you know, if you think – I like seeing Devin taking the ball and opening. I, I like how he checked around his shoulder to say, okay, hey, can I turn? Can I can I pass? What should I do? And like I said earlier, he's one of those players that takes the extra second to think ahead, and that's really what's important mm -hmm. is if you can think ahead, it's it's great. I think we have great positioning on the field because it seems like when the ball bounces back, we're always we're there. there. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're filling out the holes and uh, filling in the hole, I guess, and Looks like uh, Sam kind of mishit that, but if you look, the sun's shining right where the ball yeah. is. So I bet you he got that sun and said, ouch, it's happened before and it'll happen again. We have about a minute left here on the clock, second half. Let's see, uh, let's see if we can get one more goal in or deflection. It should be white ball. I like to see the little battle there between. There's about 30 seconds left, so it's going to get a little chippy, I have a feeling. They're going to give it their all this last 30 seconds. To it's been a great game by both teams, a hard-fought battle here. Um, got some fans that are a little mad. but got some chippiness out there. If you, if you looked, is it 16, 18? Couldn't remember. The really fast guy? He 19. 18. You were having a little bit going on both teams. If, yeah. if it was going to be called, it would have to be called both ways. So, uh, two, one. Okay, that's going to do it. The Dragons coming four out victorious, one. four one. We are going to take a short commercial break, and we'll come back with some stats and get ready for our girls' game. Want to know what I like best about playing basketball for my high school? I like it because it's a place where my friends get to see me play. I like it because I'm playing for someone besides myself. I'm playing for everybody in my school and every person in my community. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. And we're back. All right. So. Here. 
Okay, so for Oak Hill, and I'm not sure if he got, I just got handed this by Isaac. <coughs> um, we had the goal by Gavin Holtz in the first half. Um, the Dragons had four goals. Sam Anikowski, Chino Roke had two, and Devin Allen had one. Argus had seven, six shots on goal. Oh, let's see here. Seven shots on goal. I can't. And Oak Hill had three. Looks like Argus committed five fouls, and Oak Hill had two. And Argus had seven corner kicks, and Oak Hill had two. Um, Argus keeper had one save. And Oak Hill's keeper, it looks like, had mm. three. That's I'm a not little, sure, that's a Isaac. Off yeah, I'm not sure what. He said he said he there's a he missed some stuff. Yeah, okay. he said he missed some stuff. And I'm not even sure what I'm. Because their ke their keeper had a lot more. You than know three what? Saves. Either way, they both played hard, and it was a great game. So thank you All right, for tuning we're in, and uh, make we're sure going to be back, back here at four o'clock for, for the, the girls, girls game. Yep. You have been watching Argus TV on RTC4.com. Have a great day.